Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are playing Against the Storm today. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough as much as I am. This game is really fantastic. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of it and hit that like button for me. If you do so, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, let's jump in. Now we've picked our Citadel upgrades from the last time. Let's just dive back in there. We had a successful run so we got ourselves some nice upgrades. Um, we've got up to the fourth tier of, four, of fish right here we're looking at the obsidian archive so we have one additional option to choose from when choosing blueprints as a reputation reward that's huge that really is we also gain a permanent negative two percent to the speed at which the queens and patience grows so definitely very helpful in addition we've got all the minor ones we've got up to we've got eight bread um 12 machinery Oh, look, and we've got zero artifacts, but I can see that these artifacts are starting to come into play. Okay, here's one who requires machinery, too. Okay, now I'm starting to see. I wonder where when we're going to start getting some artifacts. You know, that's a good question. <laughs> anyway, we, we've got some fun in store. We did open up a new species last time, so we'll see if those guys make an, an appearance here, the harpies. Well, we'll see. Like I said, I don't know yet. In the meantime, we have to choose the location of our next settlement. Now, what does this do again? Uh, this land was once the place of a mythical battle. Oh, extra hostility. That's rough. But more than likely, we'll get a bonus reward from it. Oh, look, we'll get artifacts from this one. Yes, 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 11. Now, I do want to really open up this area right here because we got a question mark there I'd like to get to, but... This is kind of hard to pass up because as you can see, we've kind of got our little stronghold going here, you know, where we've, uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of nice cities next to each other. The only issue I see is this is like, this is the only spot I can put it. Eh, it kind of sucks because we're not opening up very much here, but this is good. All right, let's do this one here. Now we've got three embarkation bonuses. I'm definitely going to choose the newcomers the wood and oh i kind of want the stone now since the last one we had no stone in but that was just an aberration i think um we'll choose the food too yeah i think that's the smart choice oh look here's the harpies right here yes well we have to go with that one i mean we definitely have to do that that's so cool now we did have a pretty easy go of it i mean there was a bit of a challenge early on but i think we're doing okay i think we can bump it up here so blight root and corruption are going to start making an appearance which i'm not super familiar with but that'll be oh look oh we have to put something back too oh no yeah because it actually it says that embarkation points negative two hmm veteran yeah i am going to stick with the veteran for sure i want to try this out um, but we might lose this one too. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. All right. I guess we'll just take the newcomers off. Let's just play it safe, have ourselves a good embark and let's go. All right. We have arrived at our, uh, embarkation location and, uh, we've got the gift of course, the ancient battlegrounds. Now I was thinking one good way to negate that eventually maybe not right away is to build a second hearth like i did in the previous uh one that was very successful but probably need to do a little bit sooner in this one anyway so we've got um just the two locations let's say oh good in this one of course we can do farms again yeah in case you missed it the previous one uh the previous map we didn't we had that was our negative that was like the handicap was we couldn't do any farms so that's a big relief let's see if we actually have access to it not yet i need to choose our blueprints first here let's see mm, carpenter brickyard boy oh boy i'm actually i'm i'm gonna go with the kiln the kiln is super nice it's got food bricks and coal which it's probably good for selling, if nothing else. So, yeah, we'll do that one. What's next? Herb garden, plantation, forager's camp, and the tavern. Well, this is really between the herb garden and the forager, but it's got to be the forager, really. Yeah, it has to be that one. Okay, leather worker bakery, smelter, herb garden. <gasps> Uses nearby farm fields, smelter. No. Oh, I don't like any of these, to be honest. But the smelter is probably the one I like the best. 
Because, again, it's got, like, food and, like, construction stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. All right. Not the greatest, but we'll get we'll get better stuff, I'm sure. What is this again here? Warm welcome. Oh, okay. We can read about this. Now, we do have to worry about the blight and corruption. So, I'm not 100% sure what that's going to be about. But uh, we'll figure it out, obviously. Let's see here. We got the kiln, the smelter. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay down some of the basic camps, get uh, get my roads and paths all laid out, and uh, get things going. Well, 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 we've got things laid out, and it looks like the harpies do well in the uh, herbalist camp, so that's a nice little bonus. Um, of course, we don't have any beavers right now, so I've actually got humans working in the woodcutters camp, which is really weird and unusual to me. It feels off now, but I'm sure we'll get some beavers here shortly. We're also throwing down the harvesters camp, but that's probably about the best I can do right now. Yeah, if I want to keep at least one builder, but I don't even think I need one builder for now. We'll just set off like this. Oh, look. Okay, we're getting some. Yeah, let's pick these out. Okay, so what do we want? Problem solver complete two glade events. Not bad. Or sell goods worth 10 amber to a trader. Uh, this one's good, um, and I am going to build some traders really early on, but... This has simple tools as a reward, and you cannot pass up on tools. So, two glade events that should, it, it might take, it won't be immediate, but we'll get that done. Um, okay, let's see here. What's the next one? So, we need harvester's camp, stone cutter's camp, and bricks. Um, doable, definitely doable. What's this one? Building materials, pack of crops. Ooh, I'm going with this one. This one seems more manageable to me. Rewards are pretty much not that great. All right, what's this one? Trading posts and widely accept. We just need 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this easily. Look, six more simple tools. Nice. Okay, good orders. Really nice ones. I like those. All right, well, check this out. We've got ourselves a new cornerstone, the first one, and there's an option to re-roll, but we don't have it. Uh, each settlement only has a limited number of cornerstone re-rolls. More can be acquired by buying appropriate upgrades. Okay. Uh, Well-restored workers, just the right amount. Uh, villagers with the leisure need fulfilled have 20% chance of doubling their yield. 50% uh, amount of goods produced in the herb garden. Oh. And each newcomer has a group has two additional... What? That's huge right there. We're going with that one. Yeah, more people the better. Especially if there's some beavers. I need more beavers, please. Okay, well, I did notice the uh, read more entry over here on the right for blight root and corruption. And I want you guys to pause this and read through it if you need. But uh, I did just read through it. And really the most important part is right here. To combat the spread of blight root, you need to build blight root posts and create a resource called purging fire. Blight root cysts are invulnerable for most of the year, but during storm season, they open and become vulnerable. So there you go. We just need to have some posts up and the right material, and I think we can handle it, you know. But it's something that builds over time, obviously. It's not right away. And it's according, like, it doesn't really spread as much if you don't use the rain. Like, uh, the rain punk te technology is what it's called. Rain punk as opposed to steampunk. Um, which we haven't up to this point used very much of that, but... Obviously, I do want to get into it. I've noticed we've got different kinds of water up here, drizzle, clearance, and storm. So there's a whole system. But I think early on, these earlier cities, we probably won't use it, need it as much. I mean, the, these runs seem to go pretty quick. you know. But later games, I bet you we will have a lot more going on. So we'll need a lot more stuff, more production. Anyway, we've also got consumption control. Let's see. All right, I'm going to read through this too, allow you guys to pause it and check it out if you want. All right, well, that was a good read. And now I have gone ahead and laid down a stone cutter's hut, even though there's no stone nearby, because all I need for this order right here is that. I don't necessarily need anything nearby. And I'm sure we'll find some stone up here in one of these glades. So that's what's going to be the ticket to our first order i think it's just getting that thing slapped down also as you can see the trading post is going in as well so boom now we just need to accumulate 10 amber shouldn't be too hard we'll get that with some of our quests or whatever 
Okay, well, it looks like the first glade is mainly food. There's some bushes and some broccoli, but no stone yet. But no worries. Um, let's see, I got this kind of, uh, yeah, a little bit much there. Let's bring that down. I might have to move these guys a little bit because I'm just going for some small glades right now. We don't really have the people to take on any of the bigger glades at the moment. All right, and the first order is going in, delivery forthwith. Now we've got the Queen's Grace. That's going to be one full point. Awesome. Look, puts us in the lead here down below. Very nice. The, uh, the rewards were kind of moderate for that one, but hey, we got the reputation and that's it. Also, we've got ourselves a new bonus here, a new building. Oh, the farm. Yes, 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 yes. These are all really great and I want all of them, but the farm... Yeah, I miss it. We need a farm too. We've got a big old patch here. So this is like basically just nonstop food here. Yep, let's tuck that in nicely right there. And we'll do a farmer's field over that. Beautiful. And how about a pathway? Yeah, just make things nice and easy. I love it. Well, it's not stone, but clay works as well. So we've got our second glade open up. It's actually a good one. We've got farms. Uh, we got flax and we got some clay. Now it's time to actually decide what to open up next here with the woodcutter. I do like to say I wish I could zoom out uh, just a bit more with the map, but no big deal. Um, can't quite get there. Let's see here. I'm going to move this guy a little bit here. And yeah, we might as well open up this small one. Seems good and close. Nice and easy. We might end up making this like one of our central areas. Probably open up this big boy here when we decide to get into that. Oh man, check this out. Our resolve is so low that one of our harpies just left. Oh, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Wow. Okay, I gotta watch out for that. I mean, she was in her job, ideal job, and she still left. I mean, I think it's we are in like the stormy season right now. So yeah, they just, I, I don't know much about the harpies either. Okay, see, now we ent exit that storm and like she get the, their resolve gets a little bit better. So it was just bad luck. And man, that really did hurt us though because we have not got a single wave of like people yet. So that, oh wait, oh boom, speaking to the devil, we've got some new ones. All right, so that's helpful, really helpful. Unfortunately, no beavers, but we've also got a cornerstone. So let's see. Uh, relatives, da da da. Get 40 water skins for every full reputation point. Un wow. Okay. Villagers have plus 10 chance of receiving bonus yields from production, but consumption control is disabled. Well, I never use it, so that's not actually that bad. Plus 10% chance of receiving bonus yields from production. Or. Global production is 50% uh, faster, but trading is unavailable. Oh, wow. No, I think I'm going to do without restrictions. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that one. Well, speaking of trading, here we go. Our first trader. Now, he's got simple tools, which I definitely want. I just don't know. Yeah, we're pretty poor at the moment. Oh, boy. Um, I've got a bunch of clay. But I might want to keep that. I don't know. It's not really even worth very much, to be honest. Oh, boy. That stinks. Um, we might just pass on this one. It's not the end of the world. We just don't have a lot of stuff here. You know, we have no gold or amber. But, um, yeah, it's okay. No worries. He's an ugly trader anyway. It's too bad. It's too bad. Oh, well, now this is interesting. We just opened up another glade, and we've got ourselves a small encampment. That's a pretty good bonus, actually. I'm going to pause it real quick. Um, I guess I'll go with the mushrooms. And, yeah, I'm deaf. Ooh, we could get amber or the P. I need the people. I need the people. In fact, I'm going to assign our very last person to that. Oh, man, I'm almost tempted to take somebody off of something, too. To get that going a little bit quicker but uh, that's okay one minute I can wait a minute it's not the end of the world 
Okay, we just cleared that one off the map, so we've got the people now. Um, yeah, we're doing really well in terms of our population. We lost that one harpy, but everything else is kind of bouncing back. We've got six uh, little homes here going up, so hopefully I can keep their resolve up. Let's see. Oh, we've got a couple orders to pick. Beautiful. What do we want here? Happy harpies. Keep the set. Have at least six ascetic decorations, and s oh. Resolve above 16. That might be a tough one. But to be honest, I'm going to go for that one. It's probably more doable at the moment than this one is. Yeah, well, this has got an interesting reward. Nah, we'll go with the Harpies. Yeah, that's better pick. Okay, and, oh, ooh, this one kind of stinks. Although, wait, yeah, we just need 10 Amber and packs of trade goods. I'll have to look for a building that does that. But, um, yeah, this one's probably the best. Oh, although this one gives us three harpies. Um, no, I like this one still. Although these, I have to say, are not the best order or objectives. Not really the best, but that's okay. You take what you can get. All right, well, I think it is time to open up our first big boy here, the first one. Um, we still need more people, but we'll get there. We'll get some more shortly, I'm sure of it. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go for this one over here. It's a little bit far away. There are some closer ones, but I think this is a good one to start with because these will be a little bit easier to get. Um, hopefully, we'll get lucky with this, though. We'll see. Oh, harvesters have no deposits nearby. Well, we can change that real quick. See, there's definitely some right there, but that area's kind of crowded. Uh, I think that's all of them for now. That's okay. Seems like the harvester has a nice big radius, but uh, ugh, I'll put it right there. <laughs> you know, we've got three buildings all sandwiched together here. Uh, the resolve is low again because of the big storm. I just, we got a, a minute and 30 seconds before it is over, so hopefully nobody leaves between now and then. Oh, man. Well, we did lose another harpy. Boy, oh, boy, they're hard to please, aren't they? Yep, uh, it was one of our builders, so she didn't have a job at the moment. But um, it kind of stinks. Although, I have taken both the harpies out of the herbalist camp because there's nothing for them here. So, I'm really hoping there's something in the, uh, the place we're breaking down here. This is the last tree. Let's get it done there, people. Uh, I hate seeing that notification. All right, get out of here. That's two harpies we've lost. Oh boy, what is this? This is a big one. Oh, look, we just got some new people too. All right, so more harpies, four lizards, and humans. I'm tempted to go with this one. The harpies are kind of finicky, but we'll, we'll pick a harpy here because I actually need more harpies. Um, 16 harpies resolve actually no I just need to have their resolve up so I don't need more of them but um, yeah in that case let's go for this one <laughs> um, and good to go let's check out what we got here okay so what's the threat uh, traders are afraid and will not visit you gotta be kidding me neither trade nor routes available okay one in page oh working effect people are afraid of whatever destroyed the caravan negative 7 global resolve is only active right that's tough that's tough but we've got to take care of it so the question is do, oh oh wow normally i almost always go for send to the citadel but see this box of simple tools huge that's huge i've got to go for this because this will enable us to open up more of these caches right here and we can send these to the citadel so this is kind of a multiplier essentially where is it yeah this yeah i want that all right let's do these full full group here two lizards give me the lizards there's no requirements here so let's just investigate beautiful all right it resolves low but i don't care how many do we have zero shoot so let's check this out what is this oh a smelter a building designed by the storm all right, it can be rebuilt or salvaged. What do we get from this baby? Copper bars, pipes, and biscuits. That's not bad, but... Or we could get a chest of coal. Copper bars. Hmm. Let's see, where is this exactly? It's kind of far out there. I'm, I'm real tempted to just go ahead and salvage this. Yeah. Let's see, what do we need to do it? Oh... 
only a couple of tools. So once we get our like our little reward of tools, maybe we'll think about this. We probably will do it, but yeah, that's cool. That'll work. Okay, so we've got another cornerstone to choose here. What do we want to do? Wealthy settlements attract wealthy settlers. Newcomers bring 40% bring more goods with them for every hearth level gained. Oh, uh, expected gain, 0%. <laughs> Firekeeper's armor allows firekeepers to combat corruption more efficiently. Every burned cyst removes. Well, that's good. I don't know if it doesn't help us at all right now, though. So let's look at the last one. Okay, all recipes that use metal or ore will be produced 33% quicker. Again, that's pretty simple. I like it. It's not going to help us right away, but these are all kind of, yeah, later game, mid to late game stage things. So won't worry too much about it, but um, those are good bonuses. Now we've got to think about our next woodcutter. Where do we want him to go? This is going to take 3 minutes, 30 seconds, so I don't know if I want to open up another thing just yet another big one just yet but um hmm boy oh boy i'm tempted i am tempted to but uh because i just want to get some more herbalist stuff and as you can see there's not a lot of small ones around here geez here's the edge of the map right here literally that's it dead zone beyond there uh oh man Okay, yeah, let's not risk it. We'll just go for this small one right here. That's probably safe. I can wait. No big deal. Okay, so we are kind of in crisis mode right now in terms of our resolve. We have lost a lizard and two harpies here. Honestly, that's pretty terrible. So I'm trying to start to slap down some decorations real quick. I don't know. Oh my god, we just lost a fire keeper. What the hell? Seriously what man we are down i don't know it's got to be more than just the storm because i mean obviously i've turned up the difficulty so that's a big factor but i just feel like wow we're getting hit real hard here um maybe it's because i don't have enough people employed could that be it i think that might be it i should probably see about some trappers ah that's the problem is i don't have a good oh i do have a trapper's hut okay let's get some lizards employed here yeah, this is nice and close. We can get some meat going. That's actually really helpful. Okay, hopefully that'll help counterbalance some of this. Look at that. Another lizard just left. Oh my god. Well, I tell you what. This uh, caravan right here. I think that this, this is really what pushed us over the edge to lose so many people. I'm thinking if, if next time I start this early, I'm going to... Um, avoid opening up one of these large glades so quickly i think that was a bit of a mistake i probably should have focused more on resolve first get some decorations laid down trying to anticipate the negative effects that these will have because it's obviously far more detrimental you know um so let's see here traders arrive lizard scout another one's left um harvester camp okay so that's not a big deal but we should check out the trader here Let's see what we've got. We don't have a lot, but I need to get 10 amber traded for it. That'll complete one objective. So that shouldn't be too hard. Let's see. We do have a decent amount of resources now. She doesn't have any simple tools, but um, it's not the end of the world. I do like the stone. I wouldn't mind some stone, but let me focus on getting some coinage first. That's the big priority. All right. Well, I think I've got it all covered here. I'm going to just buy 20 stone and we're going to get the amber we need here. Hopefully that did it. Let's see here. Yep. Okay. One of our orders is complete. This is pretty drastic. Like look at the, uh, oh yeah, that was pretty huge that we needed that reputation hit there. Because our uh, her impatience was getting a little bit too high here. See, this difficulty is definitely doable. I think we can get it, but I just need to have a little bit more experience and maybe even some extra bonuses on our citadel would help. Definitely, obviously, would help. But uh, yeah. Anyway, let's see. What do we got here? Cookhouse. Cool. I've not seen. Oh, this is the new one. Training gear, cosmetics. Interesting. But something else might be a little bit more practical. Now, I know we need trade goods, but I don't see any packs of trade goods here, unfortunately. So I think I'm just going to go with the brewery. 
because we do have something for 60 leisure fulfilled, which I think the brewery will help with that a little bit. Oh no. Well, <laughs> the resolve is dropping again because the storm has picked up. Um, I also noticed that this thing was literally like two seconds away, but the people had both left. Both those scouts had left and I didn't even realize it right away. But yeah, so um, I replaced them. Looks like this is over. The working effect is still happening though. So we're still getting the negative global resolve, which is really what's killing us right now, man. It is, yeah, there's literally no harpies left. They've all left, they're gone. Um, I think I only have one villager or one lizard villager left. We're literally just like a human settlement here with one token lizard, man. It's been a real challenge. Okay, so what do we got here? Sea marrow and oh some root deposit that's not bad actually what do i need for that the forager i don't think i have that no we're sitting here with a uh harvester that's the one that's sitting here basically this one has nothing on the map to go for at the moment so nothing much going on with it i'm thinking about deleting it but i probably won't um here we go we've got our rewards kicking in this could be where we start to turn it around. Now we've got these simple tools. That's that's pretty big, actually. Let's see. Oh, got to give them some time to pick up all the uh, rewards and stuff, though. Okay, so what kind of cornerstone do we want? The people are feeling oddly rebellious. Gain plus one go will resolve for every two impatience points. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, actually. Global resolve for every two impatience. Yeah, we need that, actually. Let's see what else. Woodworkers can't stop working. Gain barrels, no. Newly produced resource nodes have more charges. Well, that's good, too, but I actually want this. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> okay, that was decent. Hopefully that'll help in the future going forward because we've got a really high impatience level. Obviously, we're going to bring that down theoretically, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, we do have some more people. Okay, let's hope they don't leave us. I'm going to get a nice variety. I guess we can't get beavers now. You can only have the three and not like a fourth one. I don't know. Maybe that's not true. Maybe we will get beavers later on. I don't really know. We'll find out though. Okay, well, against all odds, we are doing pretty well. I mean, well, we're kind of bouncing back at least. We're getting some of these... Uh, orders fulfilled this one's actually really decent so we got more simple tools here pretty huge so that boosts us up now with those simple tools will we uh yes we can now assign some people to this let's get a couple of harpies on this we are definitely sending this one off to the citadel let's see here yep definitely all right so that's good see with those tools then we can further increase our reputation bonus a little bit more. Oh, look, here's another thing. Wow, eight? Jeez. Um, I mean, we have to do it, though. We have to take advantage of every little bit, you know? And it's just temporary, so I can assign my builders to it. No worries. And uh, they'll, you know, they'll be finished with the job in, what, like 30 seconds? So as soon as they get there and deliver the goods, that's pretty good. So we might bounce back from this, guys. I don't know. It looked like a loser at first, but uh, we might actually be able to pull it off. We're going to have to find out in the next episode, though, guys. We have run out of time for this one. So hit that like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think, and I will see you on the next episode.